here with you and today we're on the Sunday night before the take five is supposed to air which is next Saturday and it for the month of March I can't believe how fast it flew it flew the month of, um, of February anyway so this time it's chosen by by uh, simply creative Kira so Kira chose for the month of March green, washi tape, flowers, napkin, and splatters. So this should be really interesting to do. Um, I haven't done this. I haven't used a napkin in like forever. But I got some beautiful ones from Martina in Happy Mail. And so I'm thinking of using this one. Now for the flowers, I was thinking of using this one, which is a Prima flower. I used to have to to purchase like a ton of flowers because I used to do a lot of cards. But then I stopped doing cards and now I've got like a ton of flowers and nothing to do with them. So this is going to be the perfect opportunity to do something with them. Now let's uh, choose a page in the book from... Uh, Leanne, there's less and less pages that are free because lots more have been done, which is cool. I'm having issues with my iPod, so I want to stay put. Okay, so, hmm. It's always the difficult part is to choose which paper I want to do this on. I think I'm gonna do. I saw a double spread with paper. Oh my god, where did it go? Do it here. So let's uh, undo this napkin. Like remove the backing of it so I can actually do something with it. The first layer is off really easily, but I believe that there's another one. I think so. Yeah. Here we go. So remove that as well. So now I can just, you know, glue this down here. And that's going to be the first thing. Um, I'm not sure I'd like the grid paper underneath. So maybe this would be better. But it's strange because one is too white and the other one is too dark. Uh, where's the other page that I saw just before? I'd like to have two papers similar. Maybe this one then. Because they're both kind of beige. So that might fit better. At the same time, I like the... Oh, it's getting harder to... Uh, to find pages to do this in. I think I'm going to have to start using it for other things than just the um, Take 5 art. Okay, I could use this and just kind of remove this portion of it. 
and hopefully didn't make something else fall, but maybe it did. Yeah, it's okay because I can just use this side and it's already green, which is perfect. Yeah, this is going to work out fine. So I'm going to put this and I'm going to just put some decoupage satin on here. And I should have put something underneath. Should have, would have, could have. Let's use one of my envelopes. My Andy envelopes. So this is pretty much like Mod Podge. So strange to use a napkin. I haven't done that in like forever. It's fun though. It's fun that Kira chose those uh, prompts for us. I really hope that you guys are gonna play along with us. If you do, um, don't forget to let us know so we can tell Kira and if you're doing a video you can actually uh, we can add you to she can add you to the playlist that she creates every month it's really cool so I'm hoping that you guys are participating along and don't forget to go and check out the other 11 wonderful ladies down in the description box below you see so much inspiration in there and it's so fun to see uh, everybody's take on these challenges because obviously we don't all do the same even though the prompts are the same we all have our own style and different ways of doing things which is really cool So this is going to rip fairly easily, I guess. I want to rip it on my page exactly like that. Is that song going to do me any good? So, let's set. Uh, this spit of bubbles and stuff. There's a bit where there's no glue. I have a credit card, like a gift card type of scraper that I could use for this. I should have done a better job on that. But it's okay because I'm going to be putting other stuff on top. So, And I kind of like the fact that it's wrinkly and, and everything. So I'm kind of killing the, the green at the same time as I'm doing this. Just 
is why I chose a napkin that was green. So it was done already. And I'm doing the same thing with the um, um, the washi is also going to be green. And I thought maybe some black. So this way I've used washi plus green. I think my envelope is going to be good for the garbage. Well, the recycling bin because it's all glued up. Kind of like the frayed edge, so I'm not gonna do too much to them. Need to trim the top. If you're looking sometimes for inspiration for uh, journal, like art journaling and stuff, you can look at. Um, I've got a playlist of Take Five Art, and you see all the different prompts, and it's very in, like it takes you out of your regular routine, which is really fun because we tend to stay with the same stuff after a while, and it's nice to not do that. Okay, so I think that's not bad. Let's dry this off just to make sure that it's, it's really dry. Before I do anything else on top. I like the feel of this. It's really cool. Okay, so, so then I was thinking I'd like to use a tag like this, which has, I'm going to put this later in the journal. I can use it on something else. Um, okay, so I was thinking of using some something like this uh, to put the sentiment on. And kind of tie that with this. I could use maybe some book paper here and there. Just because I don't want it to be just a napkin. I want a mixed media piece. I was to do that. And then I'm going to put the flower here. Let's pull out the flower. The flower would be here. And then I could do splatters in black behind. So that could be fun. So the splatters, I'm just gonna have to be careful not to do anything, like not to put some of my stuff close by so it doesn't get damaged. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna glue this down. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is just me playing and enjoying the process. And I've got, I, I would like to use something to stamp some uh, shapes and stuff in the background as well. So, 
got these two elements. This is from a roll of something, which I thought could make some fun, some fun circles. Maybe. Kind of. And then what about using a... Oh, sorry. Okay, so that was my daughter calling. I think she wants somebody to go and pick her up. So I'll let her dad do that. That's fun. This is addictive. Really fun, and then, uh, and then, and then, uh, thinking maybe I could put a bit of white as well. Okay, so let's put a bit of white. So uh, here, now I'm going to put a bit of the weight. It doesn't show a lot, but it shows a little bit, and that's enough for me. Okay, so so that's that, and uh, and then for the black splatters, got a little bit of black. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna make a big mess on myself. Totally. Totally big mess on myself, but that's okay. Yikes. Big mess. Big mess on my hands as well. Biggest mess everywhere, basically. Oh. No, I've got a big mess. Look at my hands. That was my son, William, and he's saying that I haven't made a mess, but he didn't see my hands. And he kind of agrees once he saw that <laughs> okay so usually I try not to use baby wipes anymore but seriously like this is a desperate measure and I don't have I didn't uh, think of doing a oh my god this is never getting clean it's right down to the nail Anywho, okay, so that's that part of it. Now let's continue the, doing this. Let's see here. Uh, some of that because it's lifting a bit. Okay, so I like that a lot. Let's dry off my splatters just to make sure that they're really dry. We've used the splatters, we've used the green, we've used the 
the napkin. So we're missing the washi tape. What else are we missing? Oh, and the flour. And it's, I think it says flowers, but there's little flowers in the napkin, so I'm adding one big flower, so that's going to be enough for me in flowers. Okay, so now washi-wise. So this is going to go there, we said, and this is going to go kind of here. Now I've got green washi, but I'm not sure if it's going to go... This one might be pretty. Remove the gold. No. No. Like those two maybe. And I think I want to add a bit of black. I think I'm going to add a bit of this just to bring the black on the other side. And this is great that we're using washi because I don't know about you, but I've got a ton of it. And I don't use it as much. I'm trying these days, like I'm really trying to put more washi in my stuff. Just because we don't use it. And tend to collect it, but I mean whole point of having I hate when my washi does that which is why probably I don't use it as much as I would like to because it tears and it's just driving drives me bunkers so I don't want to waste it so let's do that this whole piece is kind of big okay so here we go. Enough of the black. And I want to use this one. Oops. Because this is mine and I can make a mess and I can do whatever I want. It doesn't have to be the perfect thing. It's my mess, my fun. And it's okay if you don't like it. Okay, that's kind of nice. And let me just trim this a bit. I like this. That's fun. This is a fun mess, and this is cat okay, hair. Okay. So this is going to go there. This is going to go there. We've used all the prompts, I believe. Let me just validate. Okay, so green, yes. Washi tape, yes. Flowers, uh, yes. Napkin tissue paper, yes. Splatters, yes. So we're good to go. Um, so now it's more of a question of me finishing it off the way I want. And uh, I think I want to add a bit of black. 
So I'm gonna do my doodle border. <laughs> I've ended up lifting my thing. Of course, it's going to keep, keep on lifting. Put that down. I love these art line that you can get if you're in Australia. Very cheap very nice. I don't know if you can get them anywhere else. I haven't seen them in Canada. Okay, so that's that and we're Feb 23rd 2020 and now I'm going to add this big flower here so that for sure. I'm going to add big Suquan tape underneath I don't want it to move anywhere. Obviously, this is not the best of flowers to use in a journal because you can see the bulk. So, but I'm close to the end of my book, so I don't mind so much. If it was at the beginning, it might not be the best of ideas because of the fact that it's gonna add that uh, extra bulk. Now, I'm gonna use one of those little ribbons. These are from clothes tags. Like those, um, you know, those little ribbons that you that uh, they put to hang your clothes in all your sweaters and 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 dresses and whatever, which annoy me so much. So I always remove them, but I always keep them because, well, you know, why waste good ribbon? Okay, so add that there. I didn't want it that way. And then uh, let's find a quote or something to put on there. Okay, so I think I wanted black. I like that. Fall in love with as many things as possible. Sometimes you don't have to look too far for your quote. Just you know, fall in love with as many things as possible. Yes. And and this is from uh, BB Craft. I don't know if you've seen my video of it, of the unboxing, and then of using those wax seal, but really fun. So go check it out if you haven't seen it. And we just stick that down. And I think I'm gonna use my big Suquan tape because of the fact that I used the napkin. I don't want it to, I'm not sure how the my regular glue gun would stick to this but this is gonna work perfectly fine so this is my page i hope that you've enjoyed if you have don't forget to leave me comments and uh, i'm looking forward to reading them i always love reading your comments every everyone and i would love to know if you guys are going to be participating in the take five art and go check out the other wonderful ladies. You're gonna love all that they do. And that's it for now. Bye everyone.